Senator Morlaw. Madam Chair, just a question for Mr. Biswanathan. Uh, it was my understanding that as of last week, the state has already paid $30 billion in unemployment benefits. Uh, that was according to a news source from uh, KNXAM. Is that correct? Could you hear Senator Morlock? I, I know I was having a hard time. Yes. You did uh, hear him. Okay, we, we could hear him. Uh, uh, we uh, may have to check the exact figure, but it's certainly in the billions and billions of dollars. Uh, there's no question about that. Well, I'm, we're talking billions, I think. Is that correct? Yes, yes. that's correct. That's what I said, billions. So yeah. uh, during the Great Recession, we borrowed uh, from the federal government to pay uh, unemployment benefits. I'm just curious, is that the case again? Yes, uh, we are. Uh, we have been authorized to draw down federal funds uh, for borrowing for our unemployment insurance pay, uh, payments, just as we were during the Great Recession. I should add uh, that federal legislation through the end of this calendar year uh, does not require interest to be paid uh, on that borrowing, uh, at least not until next year. And the governor has petitioned uh, our partners in Congress to extend that deadline if possible. And do we know how much we've borrowed to date? Uh, let me turn it over to Chris Cook. We may not have that information right at hand, uh, but let me check with Chris. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris Cook with Department of Finance. Senator Morlock, uh, to be exact, I believe earlier this week we had issued, since March, I, I want to say it was around $36 billion in benefits through the UI program. And as for borrowing, it's my understanding that we have begun borrowing, and I want to say it's approximately uh, around 2 to $3 billion currently. But that number fluctuates daily based on incoming receipts of, of uh, um UI payments from employers and then how much we're paying out. So it fluctuates. So then uh, do we have a payment plan? Uh, it took the state of California quite a long time uh, with the Great Recession to pay off uh, the federal loan. We had like a $10 billion balance for a number of years. And uh, business, businesses were forced to pay a higher FUTA tax every December to pay it down to the federal government. I'm, I'm wondering, is, is, is that going to occur again? So what I'll say to that is that uh, we can't know for sure what's going to happen in the future. But uh, as you know, Senator Morlock, we are seeing historically high levels of unemployment. We are already well above the peak unemployment that we saw in the Great Recession. And of course, that's the statistic that is directly driving uh, these requests for unemployment insurance and the need mm -hmm. for loans from the federal government. So generally, the way the system works right now is that, as you noted, uh, businesses who pay into the unemployment system uh, would have to pay uh, for the principal of the loan over time, as would happen with the Great Recession. And, and then the general fund uh, is often accountable for the interest payments, although, as mentioned, uh, that is exempt, at least for the rest of this calendar year. However, we are hopeful that the federal government will continue to provide relief across all areas, and both for businesses and for the state budget. This is certainly one of them that we hope that they are interested in. Well, it happens to be one of those off-balance sheet loans that somehow falls into the purview of small business owners. I, I still remember getting here and having a call in December from a business owner who was just beside herself because she just got her Form 940 federal unemployment tax uh, return from her payroll service who had to inform her in December, January, that um, the state still owed money to the federal government, so she had to pay a higher rate. And all of a sudden, she says, my goodness, I've got to pay $4,000, and I wasn't prepared, and now I can't pay my Christmas bonuses. And I had a, a business owner, a dear lady, on the phone crying. I, so when are we going to communicate to our business community that they may be subject to a much higher feud attacks when uh, that rolls around in December, January of this year, when they're already you know, uh, buckling at their knees if they're still in business? So generally, it happens on a specified timeline, um, and it doesn't rapidly rise uh, immediately. Rather, it scales up over time. So there is some predictability to it. But let me turn it over to Chris, who can talk in a little more detail. Thank you. Yeah, 
Uh, my colleague is correct. The, the food attacks actually doesn't take effect only when there's uh, two years that the state had the, the state's UI balance is insolvent. And so, for example, uh, at the point in which the that we're insolvent now, the effect of that food attacks won't increase for two more years. So realistically, we're looking at maybe fiscal year 23, 24 until, uh, is when the actual tax will increase for those employers. So we'll continue to the monitor and, and that will all be based on, you know, how much the state is borrowing and absolutely will be, if unemployment is continuing to rise, that we'll be borrowing more. Um, but that is something that the employers will be known, uh, will know about this increase. Um, I would also add as well is, is that this trailer bill is providing some limited support for those small businesses in that, that um, their experience rating is not gonna be affected. And so as a condition of receipt of some of these federal funds, um, the, the one of the conditions was is the state uh, should be holding those um, small businesses harmless when it comes to their experience rating. And so what that means is, is basically um, their experience rating or how much they pay into the UI fund is, is in part based upon how many um, individuals have been laid off at their business. And because of what's happened with COVID and the, um, how, how that was beyond their control, essentially we're exempting them from those, from experiencing those, um, uh, the impacts of their experience rating due to the layoffs. Mr. Cook, thank you for letting me know about the two years. That's going to be real helpful when dealing with constituents. And thank you for the, uh, the details on the, the rates for SUI. Just one last quick question. Of the $36 billion, how much of that was state funds? Uh, I don't know the exact amount. I know the large share. I, I believe it was estimated around $31 million was in part to be largely paid by the feds. So the bulk of the dollars that have gone out the door, it has been due to the federal funds. So, so we, we paid out 36 billion, the feds paid 31 million. So that, that's still, you mean 31 billion? Yes, billion. I okay, great, great. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair.